And so today we are announcing uh, specific actions to address pressures in acute care and in continuing care, including the opening of new uh, continuing care spaces uh, in Calgary and uh, in Edmonton. We are reallocating, we are going to reallocate existing resources to make nearly uh, 500 existing beds uh, available over the next uh, year, as well as uh, by redesignating uh, $60 million from ASLE funding, which is currently budgeted to tackle uh, more of this challenge by reallocating uh, those dollars. AHS um, will be directed to pursue other measures to allow for more efficient patient flow uh, in our hospitals. That includes uh, admissions and emergency departments, uh, trying to uh, achieve better outcomes by directing people to more appropriate uh, care options and getting them through emergency more quickly, establishing home care and mental health uh, rapid response teams, and greater use as well of urgent specialty care clinics and restorative home care uh, as well. These initiatives I would emphasize are in addition to those initiatives that are already underway. Uh, Alberta Health is currently uh, working with a number of continuing care providers on the completion of a number of ASLE projects uh, which have been funded over the past four years. As you know, this is a successful uh, program. More than uh, 1,400 additional continuing care spaces will be opened between now and the 2017-2018 uh, year. We found that there's about 460 spaces available throughout the province of Alberta, not just happening in Calgary, but over the next zero to three months and zero to six months, be moving people into those facilities. But we will move people from the acute care into the long term. We probably won't have enough beds available, and so we'll be bidding and uh, building a conjunction with my partner from, from um, uh, seniors, uh, Mr. Johnson, package of, of housing which might be either in larger centers or in the rural areas to meet the needs of the communities so we are not leaving people in any part of the province shortchanged the kind of long-term care that they need.